The Nikon Z92 is the kind of rumor that is impossible to ignore. It is a topic that is capable of resetting everyone's expectations before the camera even exists. Nikon's original Z9 has already proven itself to be a monster of speed and durability. It is known for professional reliability in the toughest conditions. But now, the excitement is shifting. Everyone is asking what comes next. For months, the rumor mill has been heating up with hints of a dramatic overhaul. While nothing is confirmed yet, the tone of these leaks feels different this time. It is not just a minor refresh or a small internal tweak. It seems like Nikon is preparing to swing for the fences with this release. One of the biggest rumored upgrades centers on the sensor. Many accurate leakers mention an all-new stacked sensor in the 50 megapixel range. That alone would be a huge jump for the industry. The original Z9 used a 45 megapixel sensor that worked great for sports and wildlife. But Nikon pushing beyond that would send a clear signal. The Z92 is not here to just keep up with the pack. It is here to lead it. Then there is the biggest rumor of all, the global shutter. Many leaks claim Nikon has tested global shutter prototypes. This matches the industry shift started by Sony. If Nikon truly goes with a global shutter, it would change everything for professional shooters. A global shutter means zero rolling shutter distortion. It offers perfect motion rendering and unlimited possibilities for high-speed photography. However, this upgrade also brings up a difficult question. Will Nikon accept the low-light trade-offs that global shutters usually bring? If they do, it shows they have massive confidence in their new processing technology. Autofocus rumors are equally wild. People are talking about a next-generation engine with redesigned tracking. It will likely use more powerful machine learning. Nikon wants to close any small gap that remains between them and their competitors. We expect faster lock-ons and even more intelligent subject recognition modes in the final version. The video side of the camera is not quiet either. The original Z9 was famous for 8K video at 60 frames per second. The Z9 II could push even deeper into professional cinema territory. We might see 8K at 120 frames per second or much cleaner 4K performance. A redesigned cooling system has been mentioned as well. This would allow for longer recording times without the camera slowing down due to heat. There are even hints at a slightly lighter body and improved weather sealing. The electronic viewfinder might get a massive boost in brightness and refresh rate. If these rumors come true, the Z9 II could become the new gold standard for sports photographers everywhere. To understand the Z9 II, we have to look at where Nikon stands today. The brand is in a much better place than it was in 2021. Back then, Nikon was still trying to prove it could survive in the mirrorless world. Today, Nikon has incredible momentum. The Z8 brought flagship power to a smaller body, and the ZF captured the hearts of creators. This is the strongest lineup Nikon has ever had. But something interesting is happening at the top. The Z9 is no longer the only ruler. The Z8 offers nearly the same performance for less money. This means the Z9 II has to be truly extreme to justify its existence. It must sit high above everything else in the lineup. Nikon cannot simply make the Z9 II a Z8 with a battery grip. That would be a major mistake. Instead, the Z9 II needs to redefine what a flagship camera can do. It needs to offer a major jump in speed and sensor technology. This balancing act between being ambitious and being practical is very difficult. If Nikon plays it too safe, the camera might fade into the background. If they go too far, the price might become too high for most professionals. This pressure is why the Z9 II is one of the most anticipated releases in years. It is a crucial moment for the company's future. The Nikon Z9 II rumor is not a quiet one. It is loud. It refuses to stay in the background. It keeps coming back stronger each time. This is the kind of rumor that reshapes expectations long before a camera is even announced. And that is why it matters. Nikon's current flagship, the Z9, already changed the game. It removed the mechanical shutter. It delivered speed without compromise. It proved reliability in the harshest conditions. Many professionals still see it as one of the most complete cameras ever made. But now the conversation has shifted. The question is no longer about how good the Z9 is. The question is simple and unavoidable. What comes next? For months, 
leaks and insider discussions have pointed towards something much bigger than a routine update. This does not feel like a small refresh. It does not feel like a modest improvement. The tone of the rumors suggests ambition, risk, a possible reset. Nikon is not being described as careful or conservative. Instead, the language around the Z92 feels aggressive. As if Nikon knows this decision will define its future position at the top of the professional market. At the center of this conversation is the sensor. This is where everything begins. The original Z9's 45.7 megapixel stack sensor already delivered an incredible balance of speed, detail, and reliability. It became a trusted tool for sports shooters, wildlife professionals, and high-end video creators. But leaks now suggest Nikon may push beyond that number. Some sources point toward a new stacked sensor in the 50 to 60 megapixel range. If that happens, it is not just about resolution. It is about intent. Nikon would be signaling that speed and detail no longer need to compete. They can coexist. This kind of jump would place the Z92 in a new category. It would no longer be just a sports and wildlife camera. It would also challenge high-resolution bodies used for landscape, commercial, and studio work. One camera. Fewer compromises. That is the message such a sensor would send. But there is something even bigger hovering over this discussion. Something that has changed expectations across the entire industry. Global shutter. For years, global shutter felt distant. Expensive. Experimental. Not ready for mainstream professional use. That perception changed the moment Sony introduced it at the flagship level. Suddenly, global shutter was no longer a future concept. It became a benchmark. And now Nikon must respond. Multiple leaks suggest Nikon has tested global shutter prototypes internally. That alone tells us the company is taking the technology seriously. But adopting it is not a simple choice. Global shutter eliminates rolling shutter entirely. Motion becomes clean. Fast pans stay straight. High-speed action looks natural. Flash synchronization becomes effortless. For sports and wildlife shooters, this is a dream. But global shutter also brings trade-offs. Lower dynamic range. Reduced low-light performance. These are areas where Nikon has built a strong reputation. Choosing global shutter would mean Nikon is confident enough to offset those weaknesses through processing, sensor design, and software intelligence. And that brings us to autofocus. Because speed without intelligence is no longer enough. Rumors point toward a next-generation autofocus engine. Faster calculations. Smarter subject recognition. More predictive tracking. Nikon has already made massive progress here, but the Z92 is expected to go further. The goal is not just to track subjects better. The goal is to anticipate them to recognize behavior patterns, to reduce missed moments even in chaotic environments. If these rumors are accurate, the Z92 will not simply match competitors. It will challenge them directly, especially in areas where milliseconds matter. Sports. Wildlife. Documentary work. This is where flagship cameras earn their reputation. And Nikon knows it. Video is another critical piece of this decision. The original Z9 already pushed boundaries with 8K recording and raw workflows. But expectations have evolved. Leaks suggest deeper cinema capabilities. Higher frame rates. Cleaner oversampling. Improved heat management. Longer recording times. Nikon's acquisition of RED has only amplified these expectations. Filmmakers are watching closely. They are waiting to see if the Z92 becomes the true bridge between photography and cinema. Physical design also plays a role. Rumors suggest refinements rather than reinvention. Slight weight reductions. Improved weather sealing. A next-generation electronic viewfinder with higher brightness and lower latency. These changes may sound small, but for professionals, they matter. Comfort. Visibility. Trust. These are not luxury features. They are tools. All of this leads to one unavoidable truth. The Nikon Z92 cannot exist just to exist. It must justify itself. The Z8 already delivers near flagship performance in a smaller body. The Z92 must sit clearly above it. Not by a small margin, but by a meaningful one. Otherwise, 
it risks becoming irrelevant before it even launches. This is why the Z92 is not just another camera rumor. It is a strategic crossroads. Nikon must decide how bold it wants to be. Too safe, and the flagship loses its purpose. Too extreme, and pricing, supply, and performance risks grow. The balance between ambition and practicality will define this camera. As expectations rise, so does pressure. The Z92 is being asked to represent Nikon's future. Not just its technology. Its confidence. Its identity. And that is why this decision matters more than ever.